call the order of the uh, public works meeting for the next, for this evening. Uh, do a quick roll call. We'll see who we have online here. Uh, Alderperson Ackley. Here. <laughs> Alderperson Phillips. Alderperson Phillips. Alderperson Savaglio. Oh, these kids coming on, okay. All the person Savagio. Here. here. He's here. Okay. All the person Sorensen. Here. Okay. Uh, we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. Alrighty, we'll start out with 2.1 approval of minutes from March or from February 23rd, 2021. Move to approve minutes of our last meeting. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Um, any other discussion on those minutes? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, 3.1, General Ordinance 39, 2021, document 6.2, ordinance amending section 110, 210 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code relating to assessments of costs for sidewalks. Director Beeble. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. This, this ordinance that is before you this evening is to change a, a, a current standard that we've had in place full oh, probably for a good 20 years plus. And currently what it is, there's a city, the city pays for 40% uh, of the sidewalk replacement of, of, of the squares adjacent to a city tree. And the homeowner is responsible for 60% of the cost. Uh, this, this has been, I, I, I I don't recall, even though I've, I've been here a long time, <laughs> and I don't know why it was the 40-60 split that was, um, I, 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 it's just an odd number, and it, and it has been very uh, concerning and contentious for the department. And uh, over the years, uh, it, we, we really haven't been replacing a lot of trees and, um, with our forestry. So what has happened is many of these properties that have trees, we've cut the roots, we replace the sidewalk, but yet the roots grow back and we start seeing some of these uh, panels lift. Uh, so some of these property owners have had this occur multiple times. Not everyone, but the, quite a few. And now with us removing trees and wanting to replant and re, uh, start our urban forest in the city, we're starting to get tremendous pushback from property or saying, no way, I don't want a tree. It's gonna damage my sidewalk again. You keep charging me to repair the sidewalk. It's the city tree, so forth and so on. So what this ordinance change does is says the city's gonna pick up if the new tree that we plant or the existing tree that you have today, if it lifts the sidewalk, as part of our sidewalk replacement program, the city will pay 100% of those squares immediately adjacent to the tree up to 75 square feet maximum. So it's not like you have a tree and next thing you know you have the whole sidewalk in front of your house. It doesn't work that way. It's gotta be immediately adjacent. And that's about roughly three squares of sidewalk panels to, to give you a reference. So ultimately what we're, we're since we're, we're, we're now, we've cut down a tremendous amount of ash trees with the emerald ash borer, and we're in the replanting stage. This will help us uh, foster that, and it will be a, a good will and good faith effort to the property owner saying, we're gonna get you a new tree, 
Uh, this is part of the urban forestry. It's very important for the city to have this urban forest uh, for the numerous benefits. And with that, the sidewalk that's immediately adjacent, if, and it, would ever, if it would ever happen again, we would pick up the, the, the squares immediately adjacent. Now, in the past, what has happened is when we planted trees years and years ago, uh, there, it was a little indiscriminate, I would say. They, it, they, in many cases, the wrong species of tree was planted in the area that maybe it shouldn't have been. Uh, with Tim Bull or New Forester, they've evaluated and picked out the right species of trees for certain terrace areas that should eliminate quite a bit of this past problem of too large of a tree in too small of an area. Uh, so it is our recommendation uh, to move this forward. Th this will roughly, we, we estimated in the past, in past years, it was roughly between 15 to 20,000 of our program, of a $100,000 pro uh, program annually. Uh, moving forward again, we don't think it will be as high because the new trees that are being planted are the right species in the right space. But nevertheless, it, it still will be a cost, and I, 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 I would venture it would probably be about a, a, a $10,000 uh, hit to our overall sidewalk program. But nevertheless, we're also fostering the getting the trees replaced, and we think this is a good balance. Um, cost on one side for the sidewalk versus being able to get more trees planted throughout the city and, and, and reduce that, that uh, that uh, burden and fight with the property owners. We want it to be a positive. Uh, we want to reassure them that moving forward in the future, this won't be a burden to them or a, or a financial co uh, cost as well. Thank you. Uh, one question, uh, do you always contact the, the property owner before you plant a tree on those or do you just plant them? Through, we, how, we, how does that normally work? We, we notify them. Uh -huh. And uh, we say this is part of this urban forestry program. You're scheduled for a tree. Uh, it's just good. It's it it's good public policy to at least know. Most people are receptive. Uh -huh. uh, they want a tree, but they do. Uh, there are some that are adamant, and um, you, you know it's contentious at times. And we and, and it shouldn't be. Uh, the, we want this to be a positive, and, a, uh, uh, and it's a good thing not only for the property owner as well, for the community as well. Okay. Okay. Do I hear any discussion on this at all? Anybody else have any questions? Uh, Alderman Decker, I've got a question, or sure. uh, several actually. Do you mind go if ahead. I just go after them? Uh, Dave, uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I, how big is a, a cement panel, as you called it? Uh, how many square feet? That's about. They're about twenty-five uh, square feet. So we would only we would only offer uh, three panels uh, adjacent to a tree. In other words, that's what the seventy-five square foot. That's that's roughly um, gives you a perspective of what we're we're talking about. And uh, this follow up to that is how many trees are on the average person's property line? Typically one, there are a few that there have been more than one, but uh, we try when we look at our forestry program, it's usually one tree per po property. Thank you. Uh, and how are we handling if somebody has a corner lot with two rows of trees? Um, is it, it, does this ordinance address uh, per side or is it just per parcel? It would, it would, it would occur, uh, occur at, on each side if necessary. Again, um, it is our intent that the, this, this issue should be much more reduced moving forward as when we're planting the new species of trees, they're the right type of tree for the right uh, area that should be planted. Where, as I mentioned in the past, it, it has been a little bit more problematic. Is it possible for me to jump in and just uh, potentially clarify that answer a little bit? Sure, go ahead. Um, so as as written, um, it's 75 square feet per parcel per year. Um, so if you're a corner lot and it's still one parcel, it's that 75 square feet, um, but it's per year. So for you to hit that, you would have to have both of your trees cause uh, 
cause damage to the sidewalk in the same year. Um, Thomas, I guess, what would be some language that would change that to be per side that would be appropriate in this instance? You could, you could say something like up to a maximum of 75 square feet of sidewalk per side of parcel adjacent to right of way per year. I would make an amendment to this document to say exactly that. <laughs> can, did I do that right? Can I have a second? <laughs> okay, motion has been made to amend it to include the wording as uh, Marcus said it. Do, you have, do we have the wording right? Correct? And it's been seconded. Oh, okay, we'll amend it to, so that it covers both sides of the of a house, a uh, corner lot. Uh, do we have any, any other uh, discussion on this at all? Does, I guess uh, this is Ryan. Go ahead. David, does, does that amendment help or make things, um, I mean, is it beneficial? Um, it, 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 uh, it, it, it helps those clearly on a corner lot. It gives them the ability if they had a sidewalk on, on both sides of that they would on a corner lot. And if they had a tree in the front and on the side and it was lifting the sidewalk, clearly this, this would help the, that type of property owner that has a corner lot, it gives them, um, you know, a, a little better benefit versus, and, and quite, they, they have a bigger burden. They have more sidewalk, obviously, to maintain, yep. shovel, as well as cost. So I, 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 I it, this, the amendment is, uh, would be uh, good for me as uh, it, it, it has my support, if that's what you're asking. All right. Yep, that's, you yeah, answered both of my points, so I appreciate that. Thanks, David. Okay. Any other discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That passes. Thank you. Okay, 3.2, General Ordinance 40, 2021. Alder person Decker? Yes, go ahead. That was the amendment? So now it's been amended. Now we still need oh, to pass. Uh, uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll go back to the first then. Uh, does anyone want to approve as amended? Do I have a second? <laughs> okay, I'll just fill up here. Okay. <laughs> a motion made by Marcus, seconded by Rose. Uh, any other discussion on that? All those in favor on the on the original ordinance? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Now we're set on that one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, document 6.3, ordinance placing a stop sign at the southeast corner of North 1st Street and Park Avenue. Ryan. Okay, yeah, this is an intersection located over by Volrath Park. Okay. Uh, it's a T intersection where one of the roads goes uh, east and west, the other road just ties into it, the T intersection. Normally with policy, we don't put up a stop sign at the T intersection unless we have requests by the neighborhoods because that the the road that ties into the road, they, they have to stop anyways because it is a T intersection. But if the neighbors request a stop sign, we, we will put one up on North 1st Street. So, so it does, there is a stop for the for, for the T. Okay. But normally it's policy, we, we don't, but if it's a request, we'll, there's a, there's been we'll a put request. one up. Okay. Oh, and there was a request by several of the neighbors in the neighborhood. And it's a busy area, lots of pedestrians, obviously, with the park and everything. So, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Anyone have for approval? Second. Okay. Motion is made by Ryan, second by Marcus. Any other discussion on that? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. And that is approved. Next meeting date is March 23rd, 2021. Seeing as we've exhausted the agenda, is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. 
Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you.